When Rabbi Israel Baal Shem Tov, the founder of Hasidism, saw that the Jewish people were threatened by tragedy, he would go to a particular place in the forest where he lit a fire, recited a particular prayer, and asked for a miracle to save the Jews from the threat. Because of the holy fire and the faithfulness of the prayer, the miracle was accomplished, averting the tragedy. Later, when the Baal Shem Tov's disciple, the Magid of Mezrik, had to intervene with heaven for the same reason, he went to the same place in the forest where he told the master of the universe that while he did not know how to light the fire, he could still recite the prayer, and again, the miracle was accomplished. Later still, Rabbi Moshe Lieb of Sasov, in turn a disciple of the Magid of Mezrik, went into the forest to save his people. I do not know how to light the fire, he pleaded with God, and I do not know the prayer, but I can find the place, and this must be sufficient. Once again, the miracle was accomplished. When it was the turn of Rabbi Israel of Rizim, the great grandson of the Magid of Mesrik, who was named after the Baal Shem Tov, to avert the threat, he sat in his armchair, holding his head in his hands, and said to God, I am unable to light the fire. I do not know the prayer, and I cannot even find the place in the forest. All I can do is tell the story. That must be enough. Telling the story are the ways that people have survived for centuries. When we know the holy story deeply enough within ourselves, it becomes us, and our remembering must indeed be sufficient.